All right, I am here with this T-Rex 470, and uh, we're gonna do the little one last operational check flight here. It's already I've already hovered it a bunch of times. Uh, we added the 74 millimeter blades to it. Uh, I had a little issue with screws on the motor. We got that straightened out. Uh, and the whole helicopter was built without Loctite, so we got everything taken apart and everything Loctited. Let's talk about settings in the remote. So the way I've got this set up is this switch right here, the B switch, is going to be doing... Uh, I mean, it's really your only switch you need to worry about in flight is this you know which is usually automatically your mode switch okay these switches don't do anything and and this is your hold which it usually is so you've got your hold switch over here on h um and you've got your mode switch here on b and then you got your a switch which is self leveling now, I have noticed the T-Rexes to be a little funny with the self-leveling. The FBLs sit just a little bit forward, so when you throw the self-leveling switch, they tend to kind of want to go forward. So either set it with the nose up a little bit when it initiates, or just be aware that when you flip self-leveling, this switch right here, you know, it may kind of pitch forward a little bit. Now, back to the B switch. This B switch is basically doing all the switching, okay? This is switching our flight styles in our FBL. Our FBL has multiple flight styles, right? And so this is in beginner in the down position, zero, uh, for flight style. And then the second thing it controls is the expo. And because I'm setting this up for training and for learning, the zero position has a lot of expo, 50% expo on top of beginner mode in the style in the FBL. That is going to make this helicopter very docile. That programming setup is to make it nice and easy, really just to hover, okay? And then the throttle curve is also going to be controlled, again, by the same B switch. Normal is basically 70%. Uh, I calibrated the ESC, so I had this up to 100, but I'm going to knock it back to 70 now. Um, and it's in normal, so we are going to keep a zero in there. And then one is 75%, and position number two is going to be 80%, I believe, okay? So these are relatively conservative settings, okay? After you uh, get more used to the helicopter, you might want to bring these down a little bit and you might want to bring these up a little bit. 80% is, you know, it's not anything crazy. I have this helicopter set up for somebody who is relatively new to flying helicopters. Um, and then we'll just take a look at pitch curve. Uh, where's... So pitch curve, the way I have that set up in normal, we got 30% in there to start off just to give us a little bit of positive pitch so we don't have so much negative uh, when we land it. And then for one and two, it's just a linear curve, right? So this switch is controlling four things. The flight style in the FBL, which in the zero position is beginner. And the number one position is, uh, I forget what the number one, the next one up is. Uh, maybe it's not acrobatic uh, Sport it's sport. That's what it is. So zero is beginner one is sport and then two is going to be Acrobatic, okay, so this is controlling the flight styles in the FBL It's also controlling expo and position zero which is to me the beginner position That's where most of the flying will be done when you're learning the helicopter. It's got 50% expo. That's a ton Right, there's a ton of expo. It's only in there because the person who's gonna be flying is mostly just gonna be hovering it. When we go to position number one, the expo is gonna drop down to 40%, and you're gonna go up to sport mode, and that's gonna make the helicopter a little bit sportier, but still pretty docile. 40% expo is a lot. Then we go to position number two, we're gonna to go to acrobatic on the flight controller, and we're gonna to go to 20% on expo, and our RPM, our, our throttle curve is gonna come up to 80%, you know, and our pitch curve is still gonna be linear. 
So this B switch is all the action. So basically when you're flying the helicopter, you really only self level if you really need it is back here. You can kind of play with that as you will. I find that it works differently on different helicopters. On the 550, I kind of like it. Uh, on the 500, I, I, don't, I don't love it. Um, but you know, it, I find that it works a little bit differently with each helicopter and it works better if you kind of prop it up a little bit whenever you have those canted skis. Uh, like this helicopter has. This B switch is where all the action is. This is the, this is the only the real flight switch. And then of course, just once again, this switch over here is gonna be the hold switch, right? And this is like my only three switches on this remote that are doing anything. I'm not using all these. We don't need to adjust Expo individually. Um, I would put the gyro on D. I believe the gyro is on D. Let's just take a look. Uh, B. Okay, I put the gyro on B as well, so it's actually doing five things. Right now, the gyro is set at the same setting for all three, 50, 57%. And that's what got us to that setting that we wanted in the icon. So that's what I set it there. I forget what the number is, but you're, you want to get it to a certain position and it goes green, and it was 57%. So that's what it is. So this is actually doing five things. This is controlling the flight style of the FBL, it's controlling the Expo, it's controlling the throttle curve, it's controlling the pitch curve, and it's controlling the gyro, which all three positions, again, are the same for now. As you change RPMs and different things, you wanna change these settings. Now, as you get um, a little more familiar with the helicopter and fly it more, you're gonna want to ditch those high expos. You're gonna wanna lower the expos down. So we just wanna go over here to dual rate and expo. See this position B0, it's at 50% expo. You know, you're gonna want, it's in hold, so we'll just 40% uh, and then 30%. So you're gonna wanna lower these expos to get more capability out of the helicopter as you grow comfortable with it. But if you're strictly just learning and you really just want to hover, 50% Expo on top of beginner mode will make this helicopter nice and docile. So now let's just do a little flight demo. I'm going to make sure I didn't get too far from my original settings. We're going to go back to the main menu. Okay, we're ready on the main menu. Of course, when we set up an FBL, you're always centered on your channels. Never go off of center. Never trim during an FB when you have an FBL. Okay, because then the remote and the FBL will fight each other. And on spool up and spool down, the helicopter will do weird things. Always leave your channel centered. Uh, I calibrated the ESC, so that was good. It seemed to work a little better after that. Um, so I'm going to kick this hold off. Now this stick is all the way down, so we're getting a lot of negative right now. This is going to be my first test of settings. So when I kick this hold switch off, it's not going to spin because it's in normal mode, but those blades are going to kick to about a 5% negative instead of 11.5, right? And we should see that when I flip this hold switch. Those blades should just switch just like that, okay? So that's already telling me that my programming is online. The only thing that I haven't done with this helicopter is tidy up the wires. So I'll, I'll let the um, I'll let the owner do that, and you know maybe cover them however they want. But we got all the programming done and the build all Loctited. Uh, the belt tension is set. Uh, so let's take it up in normal mode, and then I'm going to switch it into stunt one, and then we're going to go to stunt two, and we'll see the differences in the helicopter and the way it responds. So now it's in normal mode. Spins up nice does kick a little bit to the to the left there spins up real good so this is normal mode and um, as you can see I'm gonna give it a little bit of right how docile this helicopter is okay this is set up for learning how to hover and doing basic basic maneuvers okay one thing you definitely need to be cautious of is throttle response it is calibrated but 
It's still relatively responsive to the throttle. I don't love this, uh, I don't love this T-Rex ESC that they're putting with this kit now. I like the, uh, I like the other one better, but this is 70% throttle and it's flying good. I like it. I mean, very docile, nice, easy to fly. I don't think it's over responsive. Let's pirouette it, see how it goes. Pirouetted good. It's got good throttle response. I'm happy with it. Uh, it's flying very good. So now it's in normal mode. I'm going to flip that B switch and we're going to kick it to stunt one. And the RPMs came up slowly. So that was good. It made the transition smooth. Now we're going to go to stunt two. And it made that transition smooth as well. You can tell it's a different helicopter now. Also, we've got lower expos and our flight style mode is more aggressive. So as I move these sticks, that helicopter is more responsive. Now, anyone who knows the capabilities of this helicopter will know this thing can do a lot more than I've set it up to do right now. I did not set this thing up to exploit its capabilities. I set it up to make it fly easy. 11.5 on the pitch, 50% um, on the Expo. Even now in Stunt 2, it's 30% on Expo. But you can see this helicopter is still relatively docile and it's flying great. Well, what a, what a beautiful helicopter. This is the first time I've really flown it like up off the ground like this. I've done about three or four test hovers and, uh, and I calibrated the ESC, which was a big help. Uh, those 74s make the tail very controllable. Uh, and there it is, the T-Rex 470 set up with the Icon 2. And uh, that's the way I set up the remote. Right now it's in Stunt 2. There's Stunt 1. You hear the RPM drop and it made the transition very smooth. Now we're going to go down to normal flight mode, just 70% throttle. And boy, does it get docile. I mean, it is just, uh, what, a, what a, a joy to fly. I'm gonna kick it back to stunt one. And uh, we'll try the self-leveling and just see how it responds. Now, see that, how it kicked that tail up a little bit. This is a T-Rex thing, I see this a lot. Um, because you have those canted skis and that that FBL is canted forward a little bit when it initiates. When I flip that self-leveling, you see it kind of go forward. Now watch how it self-levels left to right. It kicked it right up. See, that was good. It really handles well left to right. But front to back, it does pitch forward a little bit. Although that was better. So self-leveling is off right now. We're gonna kick it on one more time. And one, two, three, go and it leveled itself. So there it is, the uh, T-Rex 470L on its maiden, or actually operational check flight number one here. And uh, it's flying great, it's ready for, it's definitely ready for uh, a beginner type flyer to hover and do some basic maneuvers with. I'm gonna land it. Okay, now I'm gonna, so there it is, it's in normal mode. Now I'm gonna pull the hold switch. And there it is, our motor just kicked to a stop. We see our blades are still kicking freely. Um, it's flying terrific. Um, I liked all three flight modes. Number one is very docile, okay? So number one is a hover trainer mode. Number two is what you should go to when you're gonna start doing some ovals and some turns and some other things like that. And then stunt two, if you're gonna go inverted, you're gonna wanna use stunt. Now you can go inverted with stunt one right now, but uh, I would recommend stunt two. So uh, that's how it's set up for now. Also expect to knock those expos down as you get more used to the helicopter. There it is, the uh, Dominator T-Rex 470L. Don't forget to join us next time on RC Flights and hit that subscribe button uh, if you like the info. GoPro, stop recording.